Hello and welcome back. Today we are learning how to make the oblique 45 degree T. Oblique just means an acute angle. This is it. I've made this out of paper as you can see. It's a 60mm diameter into a 60mm diameter oblique equal T, sometimes called a lateral T. So let's move this out of the way and learn how to make this template. First of all, as always, we need to draw a baseline. There's our baseline, and we're just going to put in a center line. There. And that's where we're going to form our pipe, a major pipe there. We've got our oblique coming off it. So we're going to divide this up to 30 mil to give us our 60. And we'll just pop that in there. We divide that up in the usual manner, but we're only dividing half up because this is the header pipe. Send those divisions up. And then our dividers anywhere along this line, drawing a D, which is where we're going to form our uh, branch. So bring your dividers up a little bit more to the outside, so it's D, put an arc in, and same on this side. Marking where the two lines cross, that gives us 90. So that's 90 degrees, we're looking for 45. So we open these back up to 60. So you open to 30 to give us our 60. in there and again there through that point for the center here down to the center here that gives us our uh, 45 degree angle goes in there that's 45 degrees. And we're looking for 45 oblique, so that's fantastic. And we just need to draw in a baseline just here. Draw in a D. that up in the usual manner. And we're drawing our straight lines of intersection. So we go from 
this point here to this point here. Take this point here down to the outside edge. Like and we take this point here and join it up just there. line of intersection for our oblique T. So what we're going to do, we're going to do the stabber first. So we need to set our dividers up to this measurement here. Just check that. Set C, perfect. So we need seven lines. So just draw those in here. That's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We just need to stand all those up. Just measure the centre so we know what we have. So we're looking at uh, 76. So we'll do them 18 and long. We've got plenty of them. No full length in. All that's left to do now is number them. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And for our hole, we're doing those in letters. So it's going to be A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Alright, so let's number these up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's get those marked in. Point number one, we don't need to do that because it's zero. So we'll start with point number two. We have to draw those in first. Each one of these points here will meet up with these lines on here. And that's your line of intersection, so we just draw those in. go. So all we need to do now is just put these points onto here. So as I said before we'll start with line number two. So there we go. Two. Three. Four. 
six. And seven. You just need to join those together. You could use a flexi hex. I've always used a ruler. At the end of the day, it's just personal choice. So just join all those points together. This is only a guide for when you're cutting it out. have it. Let's drill down here 40 mil. So on this side. You could of course make that as big as you wanted. I'm just 40 mil for demonstration purposes. So that is half a template for the bomb without lap. And then we're going to put some lap on it. In this case we're just going to put in a centimetre, so you just smack down a centimetre and out a centimetre. Join that up. On the same on this side, so down a centimetre, out a centimetre. So there we have it. This is our template. One with lap, which is the whole thing. And one without lap, you just take off. There. So that's our stabber done. Now we're going to do the hole. And again, we need seven divisions, so seven lines. So we'll just open our dividers up to this. We already know that that's perfect. You can check it again if you wish. Absolutely banging. So let's put that in next to it. We'll start off here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> so we send those up. Go. All that's left to do now is to number them, and we're doing these A, B, C, D, C, B, A, and here we've got E, F, F. G and G. That's all our lines lettered and numbered. So let's get them positions marked off. So we'll start off with position A. Position B. Let's 
efficiency. Position D. Position E. Position F. Position G. And what I need to do is just join them all up. Position G joins position A. So we'll start with that one there. So that's Thanks to G. To F. To E. To F. To G. Up. You could use a flexi X again, I prefer to use a ruler, but it's just personal choice, it's whatever you want to do really, it gets the job done. So there we have our hole. Just there, um, I'd like to show you something with that. If we just here and here and divide that. This curve here is equal to this curve here and this curve here is equal to this curve here. So you would actually need to find the hole on all T's of straight line intersection you'd find that this cutouts are the same on equal T's and oblique T's of the same size pipe, these cut out lines are actually the same. So that line there is this line here, and that line there is this line here. It's just a case of getting them in the right order. It's just a bit of useful information for you. So all we'd be left now to do is just cut these out. With this one, you just add another three lines, make it up to 13, so you've got full round and with this one you can either join the two halves together or leave them separately it's totally up to you and then when you've done that you put them together and this is what you have the perfect 45 oblique lateral T. Thank you very much for watching my channel please like and subscribe and until next time goodbye.